I'm Jimmy Chang and we're here to talk about millimeters to centimeters conversion. Now the wonderful benefit about millimeters and centimeters is that they are actually located right next to each other on the prefix chart. So if you think about the conversions between these two metric units, centimeters and millimeters are literally adjacent to each other. Now when you're converting millimeters to centimeters, you are going to the left. Now whenever you're going in that direction, it often involves dividing. Now since you're going from milli to centi, that involves division by 10 for every decimal place that you're going towards. So when it comes to millimeters to centimeters, you're talking about dividing by 10. So here's an example on how to do that. Suppose you want to convert 34 millimeters and you want to convert that to centimeters. Now, you're starting out with millimeters. Now, since you want centimeters, that is going to stay on top. The unit that you want to go from, which is millimeters, will be at the bottom. Now, because centimeters is the larger unit, one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. Now, this should come as no surprise to you because I had alluded to earlier that we will divide by 10. So basically, what you have here is millimeters will cancel. So multiplying across, you have 34 times 1, you have 34 centimeters, and the denominator stays put as 10. So 34 divided by 10 is going to be 3.4 centimeters. So at the end of the day, 34 millimeters is 3.4 centimeters, and we got that by dividing by 10. So the important thing to keep in mind here is when you're converting from millimeters to centimeters, division by 10 will always get you there. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief discussion on millimeter to centimeter conversions.